but other than that, it was basically self-taught until I came out to the Musicians Institute. Okay. And what was that experience like? It was awesome. Yeah. I have no regrets. I, I look back, back at it as a very uh, positive experience. And uh, I don't really think I'd be able to do exactly what I'm doing now if I hadn't gone there to do that. So for people out there that are, that are thinking about it, it's not, it's not something you have to do, but if you have the right kind of uh, personality and, and you're more of an academic kind of person, which, which I tend to be, uh, I kind of like to be a student, you know, of the craft and, and really get in and, and kind of learn everything down on the, the most foundational levels you know so how to read music how to write music all those kinds of things i kind of had to go to to mi to to figure out so that's that was kind of the main thing that uh, you get from it is they give you the foundation to teach yourself anything afterwards after you graduate and how long how long of a program is that austin year and a half year and a half yeah the one that i did yeah, it's called the Associate of Arts, I believe. So, yep, year and a half. And and what were what were the main takeaways for you and any important teachers that you connected with there? Kind of the the stuff that I was going over, mainly the reading and the writing. Um, I didn't network as much as some people, or as much as I should have, probably. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's always been a weakness of mine. Is I tend to isolate myself away and, and study stuff okay. very academically, but I don't go out and meet people and, and get in the band situations as much as I should. Yeah. yeah. So for me, that was kind of the headspace I was in when I was there. So, but I took away a lot of, uh, a lot of foundational things, you know, how to, how to read, understanding note values and their relationships to each other different styles of music, um, playing, in, playing with bands in a very uh, structured setting. So the first, kind of the first class you, you, uh, you go into when you get there is called Rhythm Section Workshop. And it's basically you playing drums with a guitarist and a bass player to a click with a chart, you know? So that's just right off the bat, that's what you do. Yeah, wow. And, and so, so they, that's, that's kind of a unique experience that a lot of people don't have very often is playing a chart with real musicians on a stage in front right. of, you know, a classroom. Sure. Especially with a click, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a click. Yeah. So it's so, very interesting. Um, my favorite class, I think, looking back on it, was uh, Rob Carson's technique class. So anyone who's at MI, they know who I'm talking about. Rob Carson, he's a, he's a legend. Okay. Um, he was a snare drumming okay. world champion wow. way back in the day. And uh, he, he put together this technique class and it's all very hardcore. Uh, it's kind of like drum core stuff, only snare drum solos, Amazing. technique, building up the wrists, building up the fingers using these big marching sticks and everything like that is it, very much it felt like martial arts training really wow in, in a way just the way he did it yeah and uh that was my favorite class actually that's great yeah. so there was an expectation you said the first class you were there you sat down and and played with someone to a click reading music there was an expectation that you would already know how to read some music uh, yeah, they, before you enroll in the school or, or you set up your classes, they give you kind of a reading test okay. uh, to see where you're at. Yeah. And that's to determine your placement in the program. And if you're going to go into the level one reading or level two or whatever. Sure. Um, so they kind of assess your reading. You don't really need to know how to read when you go because, um, even on that first day going into rhythm section workshop, uh, they kind of, the teacher kind of explains what the parts are and what you're going for. So it's not like it's just get up and read a chart. It's them kind of walking you through what the goal for the song is and what the charts mean or what the drum parts are supposed to sound like and stuff. So 
you kind of just put it all together and you can you can figure it out even if you can't really read Got yet. It. Sure. So, yeah. you know. Learn as you go, right? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of just have to. But I, I knew how to read a little bit before I went out there, so it wasn't completely a foreign concept to me. Got it. 